What's up YouTube? My name is the Lazy Tryhard and today we are going to be continuing our LibGDX tutorial series. And today what I thought we'd cover is this brilliant implementation of the tiled map engine and how LibGDX kind of integrates it and helps you uh make games a lot better. So to start off, I'm going to kind of explain tiled map uh the whole tiled map concept to you and like stuff like that because I'm sure none of you have any idea what I'm talking about unless you're like a genius. So uh, as you can see kind of like if you go to our game you play it uh, it generates a really weird tile like all these tiles are awesome and you're like yes cool I totally generated random terrain. It looks hideous to be honest. I mean I'm not going to lie to you guys it doesn't look the coolest. But that's where the tiled map engine comes in. It basically gets rid of this um, just tiled idea of basically generating your own terrain. And it does it for you. And it does it in such an efficient way where you can basically make any map that you want. Um, assuming you have the tile set to make it. And it uses that to um, work with it. So... Basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to the website, download it, open up the editor, and I'm going to kind of show you guys how powerful this tool really is. So if you go to Google, and if your browser is being really slow, I apologize. Mine is, so I apologize. If you go to Google, type in Tiled, you're going to find this beautiful man who I can't pronounce that name. I'm American. So uh, you're going to go to Tiled. And you're going to download it, install it, and all that fun stuff. I'm assuming you know how to do that. So I'm not going to really take the time to download it and kind of walk you guys through that. So uh, if you install it and it works properly, you should be able to go to your tiled map. Or your tiled editor, excuse me. And if you're like me, you kind of already set something up awkward. So you're like, whoa, what do I do here? And you're probably freaked out. It's okay. I'm going to walk you through it. So... Just bear with me here. You're going to go to File, New. And you're going to see this new map screen. And this is, again, this is what we're going to be creating. So, uh, orientation, like new map orientation. If you do orthogonal, it's like a grid. So, kind of like what they do right here. So, you see um, this grid right here and all that fun stuff. Um, that's what the orthogonal is, but an isometric is like a diamond. I'm just going to show that to you. It's kind of like a diamond shape, and it you can make maps like this. We're not going to cover that because that's stupid. Um, but we're going to do orthogonal, and you're like, map size, what does that mean? I'm, or you're probably smart enough to understand that. But the basically, it, it tells you how big the map's going to be. So if you want a map super big, it's going to be 40 tiles. And the tile size is basically how like how big are the tiles that you're going to be rendering and this is very important to remember so remember 64 by 64 um that's just that's how it's going to work so and we're going to actually just bump it down to 2020 um but if you know like minecraft minecraft has that thing where it's like 32 by 32 textures or you see like these high res textures that say like 256 by 256 those are all kind of just explaining what we're doing here so a 32 by 32 tile is basically one of these so um, in our case it's 64 by 64 but one of these squares is going to be, have a resolution of 64 squared 64 times 64 um, and something like that that's going to be the, the whole map let me see never mind that's going to be I guess the area I don't know why I calculated that but that's the width is going to be 64 and the height is going to be 64. I think you can understand that. Um, but if you start clicking on these things, you're like, what the heck? That doesn't like nothing happens. That's because you need a tile set. So you can go out to Google again because Google is awesome. Product placement all the way. Um, if you go to Google and type in like, let's do it like a Minecraft tile set. And if you do that, uh, the first result that comes up should be this. Um, we're just going to take it and once it, da, 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 once it loads, there we go. So if you save it, you can save it as terrain. Yeah, that's a good one. And we're going to save it into our assets folder in our, uh, libgdx project. So we're going to go to data and put that in there. 
So it's important that you save your tile set within libgdx, like within that folder, uh, just because like it kind of that you didn't see that, um, but it kind of like it makes like it, you could get like an importing error or something like that, and we don't want that. So um, let's see how big these tiles are. So these tiles are actually 64 by 64, which is awesome. It works perfectly with us. So I'll put the link in the description to that tile set, but we don't have to do any editing. Uh, if you wanted to do like a 32 by 32, you just go and paint and do 50, and 64 divided by 2 is 32s. I know, math, crazy. But then you can edit it and change it to 32 by 32. And the resolution obviously gets better, um, but we're not too worried about that right now. Don't save. And we're going to go back to the tiled, and you're going to go to map, new tile set. And we're just going to say, we're going to say terrain, or we're going to say Minecraft tile set. You, you can call it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and you're going to go to your data, and uh oh. Wasn't it? Why you know? Sh oh, it's because we're in the wrong one. My bad, guys. That was in a completely different project. Um, if you go to your Android assets where you saved your image, the terrain should work perfectly. So use transparent color. Don't worry about that. Uh, tile width. The again, these have to match up with your map, or you're gonna get like offset weird stuff, and we don't want to have to deal with that. So if you do that, everything should work. And you see down here, you have this. Whoa, Minecraft. Crazy, right? Really not that crazy. But um, now we can start coloring some of this stuff in, kind of use it. And I'm kind of trying to see. Let's go. I want to get a grass texture because I want to cover That's what I kind of want to cover. Um, so if we pan, nothing really happens. Wow. I guess there's no grass. We shall make it this grass I guess Ugh, it's a gross grass but whatever so if you go to your paint tool everything's painted yay lovely grass awesome so this doesn't really do anything for us other than kind of make it look nice and fancy and it certainly doesn't look anything like this so um, what you can do is again just play with it a little bit uh, put some if you go back to this you can like you know do whatever you want color it's bit oh no it's basically a huge coloring playground, and I encourage you to color because coloring helps everyone. So we're going to make like a cute little um, path right here. And, yeah, awesome. We have a cool new thing that doesn't really do anything, but, you know, it looks cool. So we're actually now going to cover the part where you can actually interact with these objects within LibGDX, and that is... Um, with this whole idea of a tiled layer. So if you use Photoshop at all, uh, it's basically kind of the same thing. So if we, uh, we're going to rename this, we're going to say the terrain layer. So this is basically just the cosmetic part. But if we add another tile layer, we're going to call this trees, and I'm going to actually import my own trees. Um, but basically, if we had a new tile set, and I'll put this in the description, this is actually going back to the folder I was just in, and it is Android Assets um, Terrain, and where are my trees at? There's my trees, and bada bing, bada boom. Now, again, I'm going to have to remember, actually, ooh, I don't like that, never mind. We're not, we're, basically, what I'm worried about is, uh, again, the whole idea of you have to have these pictures or these tile sets within your libgdx project and that these trees are within another project and I don't want to have to uh, worry about that and kind of making sure that the references line up so we're just gonna make our own trees I guess is there anything we'll make these wooden trees so if we put it on this tile set like this layer you'll it'll draw on top so um, it like you, it'll draw it, and then you'll see the grass underneath. It'll be kind of like a sand, kind of like a sandwich. If we draw on this one, it'll take care of the grass layer and just like torch it, um, which we don't want to do. So we want to put this in the trees layer. Now, if we put the tree layer on bottom, you wouldn't be able to see it because this terrain layer is covering it up. So we don't want that to happen. Oh, frick! That's exactly what we didn't want to happen. So we're gonna add some trees here, and we got this beautiful texture. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save it now. And you see how it's saved 
right in our Android assets data. So that's awesome. So our, now our tile set and our tiled map are saved in the same place, which is perfect. So now we can go into libgdx and kind of play with this a little bit. So right now I'm going to kind of set all everything up and then in the next tutorial we are going to actually like implement this and kind of like see everything and how it works out. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your play screen and you're going to type in tiled map map and you're going to do a tiled actually let's orthogonal tiled map renderer renderer and orthogonal is like the one that we talked about because that's the map we want to render and yeah so you want these two things to work so we go into our show method and we do map equals new a new and now be careful here it's tmx map loader and it takes a file handle so we have that file in our android assets data folder and if we refresh we have the map and the terrain which is awesome so if you do gdx dot m or gdx dot files dot internal and you do map dot tmx that should work perfectly you actually do this you do tmx map loader dot load and then you load the file and is it a yeah it's a file name so when do map dot tmx and it loads it so that's what works sorry about that uh, and then you're going to want to do the um, render as well you got to initialize that and you have to give it that map that we okay sorry about that guys so you guys wouldn't have this error i would of course because i accidentally made another map in one of the like three times i've tried to make this video so you got to delete that um, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, load data dot or backslash map dot tmx so that it loads properly so it's going to load properly hopefully so make sure everything works you get no errors awesome everything works so in the next episode uh, what we're going to cover is kind of like how to render this and to kind of how to detect um, certain things so if we have a tree we want to you know have collision on it or we're going to add a rectangle so that we can detect collision so um, look forward to that um, Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.